Hello guys and welcome back to another <clears throat> episode of my um, channel. Uh, I'm recording this as a night time because I wanna I wanna see the plants and the fishes better. Um, this is my 55 gallon. I don't know if you've been following, but if you're not, um, I've been planting this tank for I actually have it planted for over a month and I had a couple of new plants um, I had that Anubias right by the rock at the end it used to be hanging on my driftwood but it was ugly so just decided to put it back on the ground I added that plant um, I believe it's called um, Amazon Sword it's pretty tall um, I don't know what that plant between the filter and the Anubias is, um, forgot the name. Uh, I added some Java fern. Um, there's this new plant, I don't know the name of that. Um, Wisteria, the plant between the bamboo and that tall foxtail plant, and my Amazon sore. And, well, fishes, my fishes are doing okay. Um, I have angels of course as you can see them and I got a new one just yesterday right there he's by the filter the black one um, he's new so everybody's just chasing around getting to know him um, yes I added some new, new lights because my previous lights were really sucky um, it's a total of 260 watts. I asked the customer, I mean the seller, to um, send me um, special bulbs for the plants. And I also, um, yeah, I also changed my um, heater to that position because it was close to my plants, and I read that it was that it is not good for the plants to to be close to the heater. I don't know if you can see the bubbles under the heater it's actually my CO2 and today I also did a water change and I started adding CO2 actually injecting CO2 and I started using um, Secum line of um, uh, plant fertilization and stuff and I'm going to show you right now Excuse the mess that I have in here. This is what I'm, what the new um, line of fertilizers that I'm using. I'm using Flourish Nitrogen, Phosphorus, Potassium, Axel, and a big one. And there is my little um, CO2 tank. <laughs> I think it's a pretty small one for my 55. Well, I don't know. It's my first time, so I'm uh, I'm trying and. I kind of see positive results, so I'm also thinking about changing my filter, my Aquian, for a marine land canister. I read and I heard really good things about that, so they're a bit pricey, but uh, I think they're a hundred dollars, about a hundred dollars. But for what I heard, I guess it's worth the try. So let me let me know what you guys think about this, and um, I'll see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.